What are you yelling about, babe? The cat. The cat's dead. Ah, oh, bloody cat. We'll run over, will we? This was shoved through the door, and Suki was dumped on the doorstep. One, two, three, four, five. You'll be all right. You'll have something to remember. A lot to remember. One, two, three, four, five. But you'll be all right. What are we going to do, Jack? I'll walk tonight. I'll make a phone call. Who? Doyle. Tell him to go to hell. It's the middle of the night. He says to tell you the Maiden Lane job. The Maiden Lane job? You're all right, put him on. Ray Doyle. Who's this? Stone, Jack Stone. Oh, come on. What is this? Some kind of gag. No, it's me. Look, I can prove it. You collared me on that dog track job. Couldn't make it stick. Held me way over the limit without seeing me lawyer. But I wriggled out of it. Put a trace on number one, quick. It's me, Doyle. Stone. Yeah, all right, Jack. It's you. When you're out of your head, where are you? I'm coming to that. Look, I'll give myself up to you if you would do something for me. Come, my bandit, and God knows what. Right. I'll be at my place. Springfield Road, you know it. Well, you should do. You turned it over often enough in the old days. Yeah, I know it, Jack. It's going back a bit. Look, I'll find it, all right? Listen, don't come round the front or the game's up. There's some allotments round the back. Can you come in on the choir round about daylight? <laughs> She's damn near dawn already. Yeah, all right, I'll find it. Giving you up for dead, mate. Yeah, might have been better off all round if I was. Hello? Four five. Yeah, shake Bodie out of his reverie, will you? Tell him I'll pick him up in ten minutes.
Hello, Jack. He's in there. Hello, Jack. Where's you spring from? All over the place. What's out in the garden? Not the loot, is it? Eight-month-old pup, kid's dog. How long you been here? What's the difference? Difference? A lot of people looking for you, mate. Australia, South America, and here you are. Yeah, you're the last of the Americans, Jack. Yeah, all the others are safely locked away. Proper little Houdini, you are. All right, cut out all the clever, clever stuff for a start. Listen, mate, you simp for me. I could just as easily have brought the boys in blue. Some inspector could get promoted over this, you know. Big splash in the papers, bang, superintendent. But you simp for me. See, I don't handle this kind of stuff anymore, Jack. You're not in my class. My family's been threatened, Dora. Not me, me family. Someone's rumbled I'm here. Well, they know I'm here. At least I know I'm in touch. One, two, three, four, five. You'll be all right. Yes, I don't know. What's this one, two, three, four, five stuff? One, the cat. Two, the dog, this morning. Cool. So who's on to you, then? I don't know. Some heavy money front of the job. Maybe someone wasn't in on the share out. But you were, weren't you, Jack? Hey? No milk or sugar, thanks, Lou. Have you got one of those uh, polythene bags, kitchen bags? Please. You ripped him off, didn't you, Jack? Hey? Who were they? I don't know. Wasn't that way out? Yeah, but you did rip him off. Listen, we all got ripped off. You don't know what it was like. I mean, there was money there. There was big money. I mean, by the time everything had been straightened and fixed, by the time all the money changes had been done, there was nothing left. Hello, Nick. What'd you do out of bed, son? I heard you talking. Oh, these are just some friends of mine. I haven't seen them for a long time. Now, come on, get yourself back up to bed, eh? I'm gonna stay down here with you, Dad. Getting upstairs, huh? Not now, Nick. Dad's doing some business. Excellent. How long have the kids known you were back? They didn't. Chrissy and me pretended. They'd come back from school, surprise, surprise. There I am for the night. Little presents, all that kind of thing. So where were you? Upstairs in the bloody rafters, wasn't I? <laughs> You'd have been better off doing your time. Yeah. Who talk, kids? Come on, you know what they're like. Not in families like ours, you know that. Listen, Jack, this is not for us. All we can do is turn you in. We can arrange police protection for your family. All right, they'll Listen, have to now move get away. Done. You can't disappear a whole family. Look, you can't lock me up with that on my mind, can you? We haven't got a lot of options, mate. Bloke wrote that note must have been some kind of a nutter. Poisoning the cat, smashing the dog's head in with a hammer. I can't leave him like that. I can't. If I could just get my hand on a few grand. Leave it out. Come on, you've got to have something stashed away. No way, long gone. Chris's old man might come up with a few, bub. For her, not for me. Well, the money's out, Jack. I'm not asking you, I'm pleading. And then he turns himself in. And then we bring him in. Amazing. Locked himself in his own private prison. Yeah, with a few mod cons and amenities. Rather him than me. There's more ways of killing a cat. Is that a bad taste joke? Oh, so you'd appreciate a laugh, sir, these solemn occasions. Memorial service for a brave man. He enjoyed a laugh. Now, I'm not entirely happy about this. It's not really our bag. But I'm seeing the commissioner later. I might just touch it. It's our uh, involvement. I think the fewer people who know the better. Are you implying? No, I'm, I'm not implying anything. I know I should have involved the locals, but... Well, they're nice kids, you know? Ah, uh, cry for help. Yeah, is he waving or drowning? Another of your jokes? It's worth a try. Well, they may be nice kids, but that's a family with a pedigree of villainy on both sides. His wife's father, Lane Hatch. The Hatchet? Ah, it's an old 
some uh, mellowed tune, no doubt. Well, you have my approval for now. Low profile. No big teams wrecking my budget. You're sure you've got in and out of the house unobserved? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, carry on. This is not on. I've just come off duty. A favour? Come on. Can't I fill out a favour once in a while? I pose as a school teacher. Well, do I look like a school teacher? Some very dolly ones these days, you know. Anyway, you could always wear spectacles. Well, I don't wear spectacles. Doyle's in a oh, fix. Oh, yeah. I might have known he'd be behind it. Well, what is it? Hey, is this official or what? <laughs> Get off. Oh, the boys at St. Luke's, I'll take care of him. OK. But remember, I'm not shooting up my whole leave on this number. Hey, babe, you and me. Soon cracky. <laughs> OK, two teams. That'll do right down the centre. You lot over there. We've got a big one. Oh, OK, yeah. lads. Quiet now. Right, the last one to that line and back. It's a sissy. Go! To the line and back! I'm back! Come on! Okay, right. Who wants to play basketball? Yeah! Well, up. No, thank you. That's Linda, the group leader. Socks down, hair in a mess. That's typical of her. Those are her best friends this term. She looks pale. But she's got exams coming up. But she should do well. She works hard. Why the official interest, or shouldn't I ask? Nothing to do with the children. The family are... Dubious? No, it's not uncommon. Now, don't run now. And no pushing on the stairs. This is a strange neighbourhood. Yes, under the veneer of respectability. Linda's father disappeared some time ago. Oh, yes, I remember. Mother's a nice woman. She comes to parent meetings and the children are very well behaved. I hope they're not disturbed. Linda's particularly promising. Yes, I'm sure she is. Oh. Hey, where's your mum? I don't know. She probably got stuck again. Let's walk. Let's hang on a bit. Come on, let's work. Oh, yeah. Come on, you've got to Yeah, about a minute ago. Go on up that way, Chief. Yes. Very sad, but as you've been very brave, you yeah, ain't left us lonely. Yeah, there's yours. Well, you don't do that again, all right? Maybe you no, trouble. Vicky, where have you been? You know you've no business to go running off right, like that. Yeah. CI5, right? Uh, do you lose Mum? Yes, I have. Yeah, well, he's just had a bit of a scare. He's very frightened. Near miss with a car. Uh, but I don't think you're going to go running off in a hurry, are you? Again, eh? Oh, you bad boys. If I'm late, you stay here and wait for me, OK? I'm going to off this close. Get in there. Come on. Well, you behave yourselves. Well, that's one home, sir. 
safe and sound. 6-2, anything to report? Quiet as the grave, 3-7. Have fun. Out. Uh, 37 at base. Patch me through to 9 1, will you? Linda's detained for a while. Bad marks in home economics. Well, screwed up in the rice pudding. Something like that. Yeah, we'll stick with her, okay? All the way home. Well done. Thanks, Al. He's still a bit hot. He's just a bit shaken. You have to get all about it, Sam. Dad? Yes, sir. Was it really an accident? Well, it seems like it. The car got out of control, you know, some madman just driving too fast. But Suki, and then Paddy, it's not a nice thing to do. Well, it's not a very nice thing, just some people around here just don't like pets. Some funny people about, Linda. You're gonna stay with us now, Dad? Yeah, as long as I can, yeah. Will you have to go away again? Well, I might do, you know. Not for a while, though. Come on, let's get to the bed. Hey, what's all this? Home work this time of night? Yeah, I've got to get it done. Yeah, you get some sleep, eh? Go on. I'll give you a call early in the morning, eh? Stay out for you. Bother of prison visiting. Parkhurst, Isle of Wight and Winchester. Who's on the island? Uh, Barnet Moss. He put the bank job together, picked the team. Yeah, I remember him. Bit of a handful. And that's why he's in top security. Thanks. I hope I find you the same. Oh, yeah. It's great in here. The sea air. Yeah? You're always a cigar man, weren't you, Barney? Big cigar, big flash car. Didn't bring a bird, I suppose. Well, a piece of chicken. What's the matter? Don't you like the food? All right. Who are you? What do you want? Doyle, CI-5. CI-5? You were in the regular force. Limehouse, wasn't it? Yeah, I did a bit down there. So now you're with the Derring Dumont. I hope you're well paid for it. It's a living. So is feeding pigs. <laughs> so, what's it all about? The maiden lane job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. There's a book on it. There's another one coming out. One of the Sundays serialised it. A weekly rag did the woman's angle. You could always try reading the trial. Six weeks, plus appeals. Who put up the seed money? Thanks. Nice twist on the note, sir. All right, hot note. Uh, Jack Stone, the letter threat. There's no prints on the paper except the Stone and his missus. Paper's cheap anyway, get it any place, about 400 outlets. But it is written by the right hand of a left-handed male, 40, medium height and build. Now, if he was dyslectic... Yeah, no, narrow the field down. We're afraid he spells correctly. <coughs> through the computer. Already have. Left-handed it as crooked as a right. Who's the one at Winchester? Uh, Ned Turner, the draftsman. He didn't go on the job, but he did all the planning. Then he rushed in for his money. What are we doing out here? It's a bonus. Bit of fresh air. Climatising, may I? For open prison. <laughs> it's a bit too soon for that. Still a word in the right direction. You're some sort of god bother. Well, you could say I'm a concerned person, yeah. What about? Jack Stone's wife and kids. <sighs> Don't tell me you're collecting. Someone's threatened to do them in. What, Chrissy and the kids? Mm hmm Not while her dad's alive. Yeah, I know, but believe me, mate, it's on. What about you? 
Sea I5. I think I'll go back in. Come on, it's nice out here. Yeah. On a clear day, you can see the cathedral. I know what your game is. Carrot and stick. You're the carrot. Don't want to make the other part. Left him back at base. Look, you've always been marked down as the non-violent type. You don't want anything to happen to the Stone family, do you? I could do him a bit of violence. Q forms on the right. What Q? Oh, come on. I've rung it on us. All of us. Got clean away? Yeah. Collie died, you know. Chris's cousin. The actor's nephew. Yeah, car burnt out. Yeah, and the rest. All sorts of things got burnt. Jack got out, though. Never been seen since, has he? K registration mark, SL. The plate's still tally. Observation will bring it in, sir. No, it's worth a few days' observation. Anything from Doyle? A wall of silence. Thanks, Fred. He's seen the rest of the gang. Well, I can't get word out. Not till it's all over. Incommunicado. Solitary? Something like that. Sounds a bit rough, doesn't she? Thanks a lot. an adventure. If you'd call Doyle again. No good, no good. Listen, he can catch up with us any time. Nobody gives a damn. Take care of their own. I'll leave it out, Chris. Come on, love, that's enough. We'll be good. They'll come for you. Yeah, I know. Go on, you go, Nick. Come on, get right down. That's it. Now stay down. Nine feet of base. Urgent!
Kids are safe. Everybody's all right. They're okay. They're kind of alive. They're on their way to see the grandparents seem to don't rate our efforts of protection. After seeing this, I'm inclined to agree with him. One of our guys took his eye off the ball, didn't he? I give him a rocky, but what can you do? Up all night, crack a dawn. I know. What's the damage? Shock mainly. Chris has got a few scratches, but she had a belt on, thank God. Oh, Cowley's gonna love this one, mate. We should have turned Jack in in the first place and let the Met look after the family. But we didn't, and I want this man, bastard. Hatch? Someone to see you. Good morning. Cowley. CI5. Morning. Got the coffee on? I can make some. Do that. Is this how you put in your time now? Better than the other way. Yes, yes, I expect it is. You seem to be very comfortably placed. It's all bought and paid for. Do you want to see the accounts? No, no, I'm sure they read well. We've met before. Have we? Presentation dinner for Jimmy Dick, 72. Oh, yes. I expect there were a lot of people there. Well, there were. It was a few months before the corruption trials. Jimmy did his time. Stood it very well. He's uh, in South Africa now. Security man in the gold mines. <laughs> Just a job for him. I want to talk to you about Maiden Lane. Maiden Lane or Memory Lane? <laughs> You come out with some right ones. A maiden lane and your son-in-law. And his wife and children. What have they got to do with it? Jack had it away. More luck than brains. Did he have it away, Hatch? Half the world's police and Interpol never got near him. Maybe he did have a little bit of something. Cunning. Animal cunning. Who supports his family? I do. Who else? We're just coming up to it now. Linda will go in and open the garage door a bit while her mum's paying me off. OK, Liz? Got it. All set. Now, Linda, make a thing of getting your bike out. Your mum's going to tell you you can't go out and put the bike away, OK? Yes. Good girl. Now, Nick, you stick with your mum. OK. Stay with it. The night man blew out. So I hear. This is very kind of you, Mrs. Hatch. No trouble. I, uh, I won't join you. My daughter's bringing the children over, so I've got a lot to do. I don't think they will be coming, Mrs. Hatch. How's that? What do you mean they won't be coming? Your daughter met with an accident on her way over here. Oh, my God. Accident? You've been quizzing me about some job years ago, and my family's been in an accident. They're all right. Your daughter just got a couple of scratches, and the accident and the job are related. Oh, where are they? They've been taken care of. Well, I want to see them. You will, all in good time. Now, who hates your son-in-law enough to kill off his wife and kids? Kill them? To try, at any rate. I made a start with the cat and the dog. The cat was poisoned by a neighbor. And the dog? Chris, she never told us about that. What did she tell you? Just... She wanted to be on her own for a bit, so she was bringing the kids over to us. She gets depressed, gets on top of her, Jack being missing and all. Would she tell you if she heard from Jack? She'd tell me. Answer that, will you, Ros? Jack will never show. You won't find him. He must miss his family. Miss him? <laughs> He's probably shacked up with some bint somewhere. But the only good thing that ever came out of that job was Chrissy being rid of him. Does she feel that way about it? Women. I haven't got much sense, have they? Mr. Cowley, it's for you. Oh, thank you. Nice door, Liz. 
Panther. Found a car, dumped outside the local underground station. Only half a mile away from the crash. Where did we get the ident? A uh, kid delivered a newspaper, saw the crash, told the local cops. Anything on the license plates? Yeah, I've stolen last night in Northwest 10. The owner didn't even know he was gone. Uh, some careless people about. Yeah, right. I'll leave it alone, like the last one. Just observation, eh? Okay, will do. Oh, the family. In happier times. Yeah. Well, Jack and your daughter. Their wedding, eh? Yeah. That's Chrissy. At Nick's christening. Oh, he's a bonny wee lad. Here he is again. As a page. Cole's wedding. Colin and Peggy. Barely a toddler, then. Colin. Collie Roberts killed when the car burnt out, eh? Yeah. Poor Cole. That's Linda as the little bridesmaid. Her hair was much fairer then. And that's one of Peggy on her own. She went out of her mind, poor girl. I wasn't surprised when she did it. Took an overdose. Who's that? Oh, it's Pat. Pat Weaver, Peggy's dad. That's the group. Father, me, all of them. Those days are gone. Got you looking at the family portraits, is she? Got the family album out at the drop of a hat. And why not? Pat Weaver. There's a name from the past. Too early for a drink for you, Mr. Uh, Cowley. Uh, I'm about due for one. Oh, it's late enough. A small scotch, perhaps. I'll get some water. Oh, not for me, Mrs. Hatt. Colin was your nephew, Hatt. That's right. You're no sons of your own. No. Nope. This is Chrissy and her sister in Miami. Hmm. Plain you, sir. Well, thanks. What happened to Pat Weaver? Not a lot. Retired villain, time in his hands, like me. Cheers. Mr. Cowley, about that accident, exactly what did happen. Blank. Blank. Looking for a game? Not now. Table three, if you want, free shortly. Another time. I haven't seen you in a long time. Copper, aren't you? Was. Yeah, I thought so. Good in the faces. What are you doing now? I'm making a living. You haven't crossed size, have you? <laughs> no, not exactly. I wonder what their game is. A local hood, is he? Yeah, a small time. Pretty we can't ask around. Uh, it's a tight community. It's tight as a drum. Blank. Oh, there's a couple more on Abbott Street. That's too right. Last race has started. The old man checked with the housing authority. Had a council flat. Let it go three months ago. No forwarding address, of course. It's unusual parting with a flat. They're hard to come by. Yeah. Put a bit of an allotment, too. Not far from Jack Stone's place. Hello. Someone's let that lock go to seed, haven't they? Yeah, it's pity. Used to keep it lovely. Then he let it go. Lost interest, I suppose. Can anyone get one of these? If you live around here, get your name on the list. What happened to this fellow, then? Oh, I haven't seen him in a long while. The illness. Could have turned his toes up. Oh, I'll have to put my name down. Right. Bloke here, saw him a couple of times coming out of a high rise in Camel Street. Oh, perhaps he likes the view. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. <clears throat> Staying with an old flame on the tenth floor. Ten. It's usual way too in the clubs up north. The lift's working, isn't it? I hope so. What, phone engineers? No, I thought public health department. A survey on depressive tendencies of residents of high rise blocks. Can you keep that up? What? Patter. Well, yeah, I read The Guardian, don't I? Excellent, you'll do for me.
Yeah, lift's coming. Okay, relax. Let's go the other way. Thanks. in a high-rise flat. Maybe they use the lifts. Come on, Nick. It's way past your bedtime. Just another five minutes, Mum. You've already had another five minutes. Then you'll want another five. I have to concede anyway. He's seven ahead. I couldn't possibly catch up. Come on, you can play again tomorrow, OK? How long are you to stay with us? Oh, a day or two. Right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have you got a gun in there? Have you? Powder? Lipstick? That's what I've got in there. You gonna take Dad in? No, not me. He's not a bad man. He's your dad, Linda. But if he's done something wrong, he'll have to stand trial sooner or later. How long will he have to go for? Oh, I don't know. You will be able to see him, though. He won't have to hide anymore. I know. Come on, you two, Ben. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Listen, it's been a long day. I'll give Chrissy a hand in the kitchen. Okay, thanks. You just be a good girl. Dad. What? I'm so frightened. There's no need to be. You'll be all right. Pearson, put me through to the boss. Operations. Major Cowley. Right. Cowley. Mr. Hatch insists on talking to you. Put him on. Look, Carrie, this can't go on. I'm not saying Captain Dunbar with my lot in danger. But you agreed to cooperate, Hatch. You didn't give me any option. Where are they? I want to talk to my daughter. I'm afraid that's out of the question. No, it is not out of the question. If you've got her in safe custody, there's no reason why I can't talk to her. She's done nothing wrong. Their safety is a matter for the authorities. Your being cooped up, as you say, is for their safety. I must insist that they remain incommunicado. You will be kept informed, as I promise you. But for the moment, I must ask you to keep to our arrangement. Oh, God, you better be right about this. If any harm comes to them, you all know what a bloody vendetta is. I'll see to that. I think you'd better get some sleep, Hatch. Good night. <laughs> Time, eh? Yeah. See you. Yeah. Love you, Jack. Yeah, you too, Chris. And then I've done it all wrong, babe. No, you haven't. Go. Let's get it over with. Sure. Man's gone walkabout. Heading for Luke Street. Yeah, and about time to four five out. 
Six two. With you four five. Is he with you? Someone's coming. Yeah. That's him. Good. Stick with him. We're in business. Great. after the police gave up. Yeah, I probably saw something on the allotment. Spent hours on those little patches, you know, yeah. when they're retired. Plenty of time. His daughter's suicide preying on his mind. Ah, uh, fine night's work. You let a wanted man get clean away. Murph let him get away. You two were supposed to be running the show. He went running after Weaver. And Jack Stone just slipped away. He won't get far away. Oh, thank you. Can I tell the commissioner that? He saved his wife and kids. Yeah, where's he gonna go? He's berserk about that family. I sometimes wonder if you're going soft, Doyle. In the head. Yeah, so do I. Next time you get a call like that, leave it out, mate, will you? All right, have I seen him before we go? You'd better ask my colleague. 
Help yourself, mate. Come out of the 